For me, my food's all about uh, simplicity and, and trying to make things more simple all the time. For me, it's about the ingredients, what we get from um, our mark, from the market, or we get from um, fishermen is, is always going to be the star of the show on the plate. And we're at a stage now where people pretty much don't want to see a menu, they just want me to cook, cook their dinner, so that's, that's quite a nice, nice place to be. Service please. Beautiful. Cute. So we are on uh, two squid, two scampi. Yeah. Well, what we try and do with a menu is we always try and start off with um, with a raw, uh, a cured dish. So we've got two like almost like tapasy style dishes. Then we follow with another two the same, which are usually but they're usually hot. So we'll have something that's deep fried, maybe something that's a soup. The whole experience is a bit of a journey, so towards the finale of, of, the, of the sort of bigger, sort of more bolder courses, and bigger and bolder fish as well. How long on two cell? Two cell, two minutes, going around twice. Perfect. For me, being located in Rock Cornwall, I've got a lot of um, fishermen around me, which has obviously really been the catalyst to what I do. In Port Isaac we have a great fisherman called Callum who's got um, one boat that all on his own he goes out and gets the crabs and the lobsters which I consider probably one of the most sustainable ways of fishing. He's on his own, he's got only his pots, he can't get much more sustainable than that. And he'll bring in a product that just every time he comes in the back door with it just gives me inspiration to come up with something new and, uh, and different. So today we're sitting in um, Callum and Tracy's uh, place called uh, Freshman and Sea, which is um, a fantastic um, seafood, I like to call it, it's a bit of a shack really, isn't it, Callum? <laughs> I like it, it's lovely. And you've got like all this fresh fish and you've got these wonderful um, lobsters and, you know, for me, the crab sandwich is the ultimate. Um, and, and Callum is a very, one of the most sustainable fishermen you'll ever meet. And, you know, that his wife runs the shop, get, he catches the fish and then they make these wonderful crab sandwiches and beautiful lobster cocktails. Sometimes he brings in some things, little treats for me like squid and cuttlefish and then the odd trigger fish as well, which is something that not many people have seen. Um, it's always a bit of a challenge, he, he sort of laughs as he, as he, as he leaves, leaves me with it. <laughs> to say, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> you, did you name that one when you caught it? <laughs> I named them all recently. <laughs> yeah. Named the crabs, there's a few of them. You're on your own on the boat, so what, how, many, um, how many pots have you put out? Um, this year will be about 600 at the height of the season. Yeah. We'll just be rotating 200 a day. Wow. Cool. <laughs> that is nice. From your point of view, Callum, like when you're, you're catching and going out and you know, basically are risking your life, you know, in regards, especially with the bad weather, when you see everything being used up, I suppose that's sort of a good thing for you. Because yeah. you, at least you know the effort has gone in for it. Nothing yeah. worse than wasting it, is it? No. No, not, uh, like I say, we, we only do really simple things here. Yeah. They're not chefs, we're just, we're just lucky that we're fortunate to have such yeah. quality stuff. I think seafood in general is quite a convenience food. If you get it, it's, it all cooks very quickly. Something like a crab soup like that can be done quite quickly. It's not, you know, if anything, you want to do it quickly to retain all the flavour. Roasting or steaming a lobster or making a crab sandwich, it's not something that's going to take you ages and ages to produce, but it's still, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful things you can eat, I think.